Welcome to Lil John Yarns. Today, we're gonna to learn how to make these easy, no-sew crochet flip-flops. The materials that we'll be using today, I am using a four millimeter crochet hook. I'm also using flip-flop soles. You can follow along with the free written pattern. That'll be down in the description box below. And I'm also using gloss DK weight yarn. This yarn was provided by We Crochet. That information is down below and you'll need a button. But if you don't have a button, I'll teach you how to create your own at the very end of this tutorial. And this pattern, will work for all adult size soles. So there's no adjusting. You'll just have to add more chains around the ankle to make it fit for you. So let's hop into the pattern. To begin, I attach my yarn to the flip-flop sole. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna chain one. It can be difficult working over these straps. Now we're gonna place 29 single crochets going across the first strap and 29 single crochets going across the second strap. I'll demonstrate a couple with you. I'm working over my uh, ends as I go. It can be quite hard going around a strap, but you can make it. And if you've run out of space, you can just move your single crochets up and down your strap. So pause your video here, continue placing 29 across the first and 29 across the second strap. And that will be a total of 58 stitches. Pause your video here. We've completed this row and you should have a total of 58 stitches. For your next row, we're just going to chain one. Chain one and turn your work. We're gonna single crochet into the uh, first two stitches. So single crochet back into that same stitch that's stitch number one, and single crochet into the second stitch. Now it's going to begin our pattern repeat. We're going to chain five stitches, one, two, three, four, five, skip five stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three we're going to repeat that one more time chain five stitches stitches one two three four five skip five stitches one two three four five and now we're going to single crochet again into the next three stitches one two and three now we're going to chain five one two three four five skip five stitches again one two three four five now we're going to single crochet four together three times so we're going to go into that next stitch and start single crocheting four together to do that you go into the stitch pull up a loop one go into the next stitch pull up a loop two go into the next stitch pull up a loop three go into the next stitch pull up a loop four you should have a total of four loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook so let's double crochet four together two more times one two three four try not to miss any loops it's real easy the next one one two three and four yarn over and pull through all those loops on the hook now we're going to go back into that normal pattern repeat again we're going to chain five stitches i'm just going to show you once one two three four five skip five stitches one two three four five three single crochet into the next three stitches one single crochet into the next three stitches i'm sorry so this is one two and three i want you to pause your view here and complete that pattern on repeat all the way to the very end of the row and i'll work the stitches with you I completed my last chain five and you should have seven stitches remaining. So we're going to skip the last five stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and place one single crochet into the last two stitches. So there's only going to be two single crochets at the very end. So there's one. Oh, this one's going to be hard to get in. 
and two. For your next row, we're going to chain one, turn your work, single crochet back into that very same stitch. We're going to skip the next stitch and place nine single crochets into that chain five space. So you can pause your video here, continue placing nine single crochets into this space. We've completed those nine single crochets, so you're going to skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next. Skip that next stitch and start your pattern repeat all over again. So I'll repeat one more time. So we're going to place nine single crochets into the chain five space and one single crochet into that middle stitch. Nine single crochets, one crochet into the middle. Nine, one nine one all the way to the end of the row and i'll meet you at the other side we've almost made it to the end of the row i just completed those nine single crochets into the chain five space and you should have two stitches remaining i'm going to skip the next stitch and single crochet into that next stitch and now we're going to chain four one two three four and turn your work your chain four will count as a double crochet and a chain one. We're going to skip the first three stitches, one, two, three, and place one single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skip seven stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Once again, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skip seven stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This time, stop. We're gonna place one single crochet into the next stitch and stop right here. We're about to complete a strange uh, single crochet two together. In order to do this, I want you to insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop and leave it right here on your hook. I'm going to want you to skip nine stitches. I already have mine marked off. I want you to skip nine stitches and single crochet, finish off your single crochet together into that next stitch. Let me take this off. Yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And now single crochet into that next stitch. We're going to begin our pattern repeat again. I'm going to work it all the way to the end of the row with you. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five, skip seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three. If I'm ever moving too fast, you can always use the buttons to slow down the video. So chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. Skip seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Single crochet into those next three. One, two, and three. Now we're just going to chain one and double crochet into that very last stitch. For your very next row, we're going to chain one, turn your work. We're going to single crochet back into that very same stitch. Now we're going to place four single crochets into this chain one space. One, two, three, and four. The rest of this row is going to be work very similar, similar to the previous rows, but we'll be using slip stitches instead. So we're going to skip the next stitch and place a slip stitch into that next stitch. 
This is to make the arches pop. Now we're going to skip the next stitch and place nine single crochets into the chain five space. You can pause your video here, continue placing nine single crochets. I just completed those nine single crochets. So once again, we're just going to slip stitch into that middle stitch. And remember, this is our pattern repeat all the way to the end of the row. So you're going to place nine single crochets into the chain five space, then slip stitch into the middle. Nine single crochets, slip stitch into the middle. So you can pause your video here and we'll work this last section together. We made it into that last chain four space. So I'm going to place five single crochets into this chain four space. Two, three, four, and five. So now what we're going to be doing next, we're going to be creating the strap that goes around the ankle. In order to do that, it's going to be kind of strange. I want you to place two slip stitches going down the side of your work until you make it to the previous row. If that looks weird, don't worry, I'm going to show you. So slip stitch into this chain four space, slip stitch into the first, here we go, this part right here. There we go, eh, two slip stitches is enough. So what you're going to do now, you're going to chain as many as it takes to get to the very back part of your ankle. For myself, it takes about 15 chains to get to the mid part of my ankle. So pause your video here. I want you to continue chain for me, like I said, 15 or as long as it amount it takes to get around your ankle. All right, I chained my 15 stitches. Now I'm going to chain one more for a turning chain and I'm going to half double crochet into the second chain from the hook. Now I want you to half double crochet all the way down uh, your remaining chains. So pause your video here, continue with your half double crochets. We've made it to the very end of the work and this is what your work should look like. Right now I want you to remove your hook from your work. The, what we're going to do right now is going to fix this problem. See how it's not attached to your work? So what we're going to do, we're going to pull this loop long. I want you to insert your hook through the first arch right there. Place the loop on your hook. You can tighten it up some and pull that loop through the first arch. So you have it there. So now I want you to chain one. Now you're going to turn your work and you're going to continue placing half double crochets down the remainder of this strip. So let me show you. I got my first half double crochet right here. By doing this is connecting your work back onto your strap. So pause your video here and continue with your half double crochets. We've made it to the very end of the row and now we're going to create the buttonhole. You're going to chain three, one, two, three, slip stitch into the very bottom of that row. and you can fasten off your work. Let me show you what that strap looks like while we did that weird connecting technique. As you can see, it's held together much easier. What you're gonna do for the second strap, you're gonna attach your new yarn right here and continue the exact same process minus the buttonhole. So you can pause your video here, continue with your second strap. We finished that additional strap, so all you have to do is fasten off your work. Now, I'm going to show you how to create this easy button if you already don't have one. What we're going to do is start with a regular piece of yarn and begin with a slip knot. Once you have your slip knot, you're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Slip stitch into that very first chain to form a ring. Now, you're going to chain one. You're going to begin by placing six single crochets into the ring. So pause your video here, continue with those six single crochets. All right, I've completed my six single crochets. We are not going to slip this to join. We're going to continue working into the center of this loop around your previous row's single crochets. So back in through the center circle, yarn open, pull up a loop, and we're working over top. It's like we're creating a second layer of single crochets. We're going to continue to do that until it's completely covered around your single crochets. It takes about maybe an additional 
10 more, maybe six to 10 more stitches. So let me show you what it looks like so far when I turn it to the opposite side. It creates this cute little buttonhole. So right now I can probably fasten off my work and I'll just attach it to my sandal. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you check out my other slippers up above and I'll see you all on the very next video. Bye guys.